everyone welcome to my channel dragonfly bees my name is Susie I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark Macari and Etsy and today I will be opening up a Goodwill blue box five pound repurposed jewelry box and for those of you who may not be familiar with what a Goodwill blue box is goodwillbluebox.com offers a variety of different um, merchandise every Friday evening uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, available for purchase. You um, can choose from a variety of different boxes that may be uh, jewelry related, clothes, handbags, shoes, scarves, whatever. And um, you need to be pretty quick uh, because they go fast. So I was lucky to obtain one a couple weeks ago and I just received it. So um, we'll be opening up one today just to see if there's anything good in there to resell. And um, I just want to make mention also Dragonfly Bees is uh, a little over a month and a half and I now have over 100 subscribers. So I'm so happy. Thank you so much for um, subscribing, for watching, and um, I appreciate you. So, with that said, let's open that box. Okay, this box came from Nashville, Tennessee. It cost $29.99, and there was a $5 shipping charge. And um, here are the first impressions. All right, let's uh, let me dump the box out into a container and then we'll go over each item. I mean, they did line the bottom of the box with this piece of paper, but I have quite a tangle to, um, to go through. So, I'll be back. So first off, um, this was uh, together. There's about 17 bangles in this set, and they are immaculate. Um, these have these white seed beads and little gold spacers. I mean, they, they're in excellent condition. And there's also this woven um, bangle with the silver thread going around. So yeah, this is a really pretty set. Like I said, there's about, I think I counted 17. And they're all in very good condition. So, I don't know. You like it? Oh, by the way, anything in the video, feel free, email me, dragonflybees at gmail.com. So, yeah, maybe I'll, um, you know, 17 bracelets, I'll, I'll do $6. Okay, more bracelets. Here we have the plain silver tone bangle. Another one that's very uh, squiggly. Here is a very lightweight costume piece. This is a brass bangle with the vertigree. And I think this is, um, I think this is either, it's very light, so it may be like a plastic acrylic. It's just a hoop. Um, a very, very tarnished, uh, damascene, uh, kind of like an ID bracelet on, on this leather cord. Okay. Here we have this, uh, leather, maybe faux leather. Snap 
cuff bracelet with some numbers on it. And it has this little um, design in front. We have this rhinestone bangle. And they're all intact. Um, a faux wooden bangle. Doesn't even feel like wood. Uh, this little beaded um, ball bangle. It is quite faded. We have this little seed bead bangle with black and yellow and I guess maroon beads. We have this little bracelet that is very uh, faded, and it is the letter P in the cursive. What else? What else? We have this um, gold tone, tries, oh, it's quite bent, um, bangle. Kind of looks like bamboo this faux leather bracelet with with a little um, embellishment a clear rhinestone in, in front it's magnetic okay okay here we have a open, open work, open cuff bracelet. Um, very sweet design. Kind of reminds me of a like a coach wannabe. And um, it says stainless steel mylar, Italy. It's pretty. Here is a bangle. That's wrapped in brown thread. Here's this acrylic bangle that has some um, nicks. Maybe could be wiped off. Okay, this feels like a wooden bangle, but it also has some marks, but it's still nice. Here is a, hmm. This looks like a faux tortoiseshell bangle. Um, I do not see any seams inside. So, okay, this is something I will test for Bakelite. Who knows? I mean, it looks fairly modern but um i will test it and i'll put that on the screen and lastly is this green acrylic bangle that has a spade on it so i think it's a knockoff because there is no markings on it that indicates that it's um a kate spade but it's a uh, it's in a pretty good condition, I, I would say, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it for the bracelets. So, moving on. Okay, next up is the pendant category. First up is this really pretty uh, pink, well, rose tone enamel brooch with um, a pink rhinestone in the center. It looks vintage. There is that swedge um, hardware in the back. It's a bit... Mm, see that? It's a bit sloppy workmanship. But um, 
I don't know if this is truly vintage. It's something I can put into my Etsy store because I do sell vintage items there. Um, okay. Next up is this rose pendant. Enamel rose pendant. And a lot of um, paint has chipped off. If you can see, the leaves have these gold specks throughout. I mean, someone can repaint these. I know um, people who repair jewelry or can do this easily. And there is some verdigris in there. I mean, I guess this will go into a craft lot. So craft lots are um, five pound bags that I put together and I sell them on Etsy as craft supplies as well as on Macari. Next up we have this brooch. It is um, what do you call that? A horn of plenty. It has some fruits and the grapes have some fading here on both sides. There's some fading up there too in that flower. Yeah. This will probably go into a craft lot too. We have this zigzag brooch. No mark, very clean. Okay. We have this pendant. Um, this will go into craft. I don't know what happened up here. And then we have this really pretty. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's clear rhinestones. I mean, it could be crystals. Along with these ruby red rhinestones. Wow. It's a simple um, circle brooch. It's really clean, um, except, I don't know, there's some, like, rust over there. Is that rust? I would say this is about an inch and a quarter wide. Yeah, that's pretty. I would sell this for $5. Okay. Moving so on. When I opened this box, um... I saw feathers, and uh, these are real feathers, and this necklace is super, super lightweight. It's light as a feather. <laughs> uh, these are like tin. I mean, it's really a light weight necklace that is in, uh, it's really faded, it's in not good shape um i personally am not fond of feathers um in jewelry uh as well as like fabric cords and things like that um so i mean these are beautiful green deep forest green feathers and i'm sure that bird was quite beautiful but this is something I would definitely put into um, a craft lot. Since we were on the topic of fabric, uh, here is a fabric necklace. It's on a black and brown ribbon of some sort. But these are amazing. I mean, the fabric is very lightweight, and then you have these heavy charms hanging off of it. You have these metal charms, these glass charms, really pretty with the uh, AB coating, faceted. This has that amber color, and then you have this really pretty um, rhinestone embellished one. And then you have a silver AB one, and this this round one, and you have the Florida Lee. 
charm. I mean, cord, not so much. Charms, really pretty. Um, this is something I will also put into the craft lot because these will definitely, definitely uh, can be repurposed and uh, made into something like a, like a bracelet. So craft lot you go. And then next is this This leather, faux leather cord, and it has a brass skull and crossbones. <sighs> okay, I, I guess I see things differently. Um, at first glance, it looked like his body, right? It looks like his arms and his legs, <laughs> and he's got a big head. <laughs> well, that's going into, the, he's going into the craft lot. Okay, this one here is actually um, plastic resin of some sort to make, to look like uh, what it's not. With wooden beads on a cotton cord. And it actually has a stamp, a hang tag. What does that say? Panama Jack. Okay, so this is a Panama Jack. Um, wooden necklace. It's it's in good shape, except for I don't know. You see, there's somewhere right there. Uh, a very worn out key on a. Ribbon, cord, this is going into the craft lot too, and this is just a, a craft item. Next up is this really pretty necklace, and it has these really Awesome olive green shell chips along with these um, like like nuggets. It has a um, lobster clasp. It's in good condition, along with an extender. It's silver tone chain, and then you have this design going all, all around. Yeah. Next is this um, very, very long necklace. I do see somewhere on the um, bars that that link all the beads. There are glass beads, painted glass beads, all different um, colors. <clears throat> yeah, you see, I do see a lot of um, wear. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, this will also go into into the craft lot then. Next up is this pendant necklace. Lobster clasp, gold tone, something funky going on over here. Um, so it's broken. Etc. with the exclamation point. I don't know this brand. And it's missing rhinestones. Um, I see one up there missing and one over here. So, yeah, this one will go into the craft lot too. Here we have a ball chain necklace that has a 
lobster clasp. This is very clean. Let's see what's on the bottom. Uh, is that a G? Does it say his dog? His, d I don't know. I don't even know what, what, what this is. Like, what is this shape? Okay. Craft lot. This is a very pretty pendant. It's a very tiny little stone, which is a, um, it could be a sodalite. And then it has these really pretty um, stations. No particular order. Let's see what this is all about. It has a lobster clasp and a very long extender. That's the back. I don't see any, um, I don't see any marks. I can't test the stone. My Presidium is out somewhere being sent back to me uh, because it had to get um, updated. So I could, I can't, I don't have one. I don't have it and I'm lost without it. And I can't find my bracket. Hmm. I just had it. I just had it a second ago. Well, anyway, um, I'll test this and I'll put that on the screen, okay? Next up is this, um, seed bead necklace. I don't know if it's supposed to have this distressed look because it looks, looks pretty distressed. <laughs> it's very lightweight. It has this pendant that has these um, shell chips inside. And I can see this is probably handmade. It has a lobster clasp. Okay, this will uh, this will go into a lot. Here is a wooden bead necklace very muted tones oh. yeah this this will go into a lot as well so first box I got from Tennessee okay this is a like a hair um, headband And it has a juicy couture dove. But what happened here? It's really damaged. Unless it's supposed to look like that. I have no idea. I doubt it. I mean, look at that. All that copper coming through. I don't know. Did they make headbands? I mean, the headband... Look at this. It ugh, needs to be washed. But I'm putting it into craft. Here is a um, very lightweight brass pendant necklace. Oh, nice chain. It's also in a uh, brass tone. And it has a lobster clasp at the end. This has a teardrop shape with rhinestones throughout. And they're all there. So this is um this is cute. And the chain is very nice. So yeah, that's very nice. Wow. This is a this is a heavy torque um necklace. It has these hinges here. So that way you can 
move them forward. It's, it's an, it's, uh, it's okay. I mean, it can just be cleaned. But the, the front, um, looks, okay, this looks bent to me. Like, somehow. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got this chain. Craft. Another chain. This one's broken. Craft. Here we have a necklace with these brass pendants. Uh, there's peace. There is... Is, I don't know what that is. It's a Leah Sophia uh, necklace. It's, it just, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of faded too. I, I see. But that's on the top. It's, it's really lightweight. I've never seen um, a design like this that she made. So that's. That's one. Okay, what's this? Okay. This this necklace is really um this necklace is lightweight. There this is the the end. It's got three strands. One is a um really pretty beaded beaded strand with these gold spacers. The next one is a, a plain gold chain and the last one is a is a nicer chain. And then okay. So it's a layered a layered necklace. Each of those um, chains are different lengths. And then you have this here clear plastic pendant and this is uh hanging off that pretty gold chain this uh this medallion but like i said this is super super light but it's it's in it's in um it's an okay condition i mean it's nice i'll sell that for three dollars This is a very long faux pearl necklace, and it's in this really pretty, I don't know if you can tell, but that's icy blue. Um, it looks to be in pretty good shape. I'm sure it's faux. It's, it's um, strung on a string as you can see that okay yeah so when I rub the pearls together I'm, I'm looking to see if um, if they are smooth if they're smooth then I know that they're not real if they feel gritty um, then it's a good chance that they are this is pretty these are nice there is no um, closure. It's just something you place over your head. Okay, next up we have this wooden um, bead necklace with graduated beads. It's larger on the bottom and they get smaller as you move up the, uh, the chain. Uh, has a hook closure, but this is going into um, the craft lock. Next we have this really heavy heavy, heavy necklace um, with a super large lobster clasp. There is a hang tag that says something. Okay, I don't know what that says because it's really hard to read. 
Do you know what this is? S. That's all I can see. S. <laughs> but this is really heavy. It's multi-layer. It is in really bad shape. Um, very worn. Very, very faded. Um, I mean, it would have been nice. I guess it was very nice in its heyday. Because look, all, all the different discs have, have uh, rhinestones. And I mean, yeah, I, I bet you, I don't know. But the backs, the backs of them are really tarnished all around. Uh, this, this is, this is going into the craft lot. <clears throat> Next up, we have this really pretty um, wire uh, necklace, and it has, oh my goodness, this cobalt blue faceted, um, <clears throat> kind of like faceted beads with these um, silver spacers and these um, beaded spacers. It has a lobster clasp, it has a, an extender. <laughs> It's in very nice shape. As you move down to the center, there is a pendant. Uh, it's attached. It has this decorative bell with the S on it. That looks like an S. Yeah, right there. And then you have this um, pendant hanging off of it. And it is plastic. And there are some marks I can see right, you know, at the corners. But it's not really as noticeable. But this is, this is in good shape. This is a very pretty um, necklace. And I don't know what the S is for. There is no maker on this. Oh, there's even a little rhinestone at the end of the extender um, ball. You see that? So this is pretty. Okay, tassels. We have a tassel necklace. Very, very long. Uh, okay, this this one's not in terrible condition. I normally, like I said, don't like um, fabric tassels. This feels to me like a faux leather. And it has this plain bead cap. And then there's these um, seed beads in gold with these spacers. And then there's clear plastic beads. And then you have these little round ones and these bars. And then you have AB coated, ooh, like periwinkle. Um, beads and it keeps on going up, up, up the chain. And this is like a a Rolo chain. Not very heavy, I, I gotta say. Um, it looks to be in in good condition. And there's the lobster clasp along with an extender. So yeah, this is um a very pretty. It's like a, a mauve rose color, rose, kind of like a, a cloudy, clear bead. And then that's my favorite, that this uh, blue color. <clears throat> so yeah, these this co color combination is pretty. And then you have that mauve um, tassel. It, it looks to me it has never been worn. So this is um this is a nice long tassel necklace. Next up we have this huge um, um, this is metal and as you can see it bends but there is a lot of uh, wear it's like it's like figure eights on top and then you have this swirly thing with these um, medallions but as you can see it's really worn <laughs> ok 
Okay. Here's the back. Yep. This is going into craft. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, I love I like I like these colors. Um this is like a brass tone necklace with these huge um links that are round and tear shape. It's different. And as you move down the line, you get these, um, okay, these are faux, uh, they, I guess because of the veining, they're trying to look like, um, turquoise. They're, they're plastic beads. So you have this, uh, section with the beads, and then you have this huge hanging, dangling, Dang dangly pendants. Look at it. It's like first it it starts off with this um, like bronze color. Feels plastic uh, bead, and then you have a few dangles underneath, which feel really substantial, like like stone. Um, yeah, just like the sound. Okay. Um, I mean, it looks, it looks okay. I mean, this is perhaps something I could put into a mystery lot. A mystery lot is uh, also five pounds of jewelry that I put together. And um, it's all wearable jewelry. So... I, don't, I would have to take a closer look uh, later to see if I should if I should do that. Okay. Oh, I you know what I love these colors together. Um, you have the brown wood. You have these really pretty gold open work um, beads. You have this is the green I love, and then um, you have these little hoops that have. They have little teardrops of uh, gold tone hanging off of them. There's all different tones of woods here. Oh. And then they ruined it by putting this on it. Uh, it's a crocheted um, uh, ball. <laughs> See, I was like looking at this and thinking, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So there's that one crochet ball. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, oh there's a nice uh, wooden hoop. Two wooden hoops. Uh, there's no, I don't see, I don't see any um, like closure. So this is something you just place over your head. And I guess I wonder what's in there. Maybe maybe you could just take the the crochet part off. I mean, it's not nasty. You just need to trim it because of course the the yarn is poking out. Otherwise, this seems to be in um seems to be in pretty good condition. I mean, but look at that. Uh but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And it's not super heavy. But, oh, there is a clasp. Wow. Okay. So it's just a simple, that's weird, uh, lobster clasp. Uh, okay. If you like it, email me. If not, it's going into the craft lot. I mean, if you see anything that I put in the craft lot, I could always take it out. Just email me. Okay, this is a pretty, pretty pendant. It has enameled like daisies with beautiful blue crystal rhinestones in the center. The middle uh, flower is that 
gorgeous green faceted um, petals. This is so nice. Turn it around. Wow, there's a lot of wear in the back, but you know you don't see that. There's a lot of wear on the on the on the actual bale, and there's also wear on the top over here. Wow, and there's even verdigris, and that you can clean with either soap and water or hot soap and water or um or white vinegar, and how did I miss this one before? This is on a fabric cord. Uh, I mean, this can be, I'm sure it can be washed and then hung to dry so that way the, the cords will, um, will straighten out. But this is really sweet. It's a very pretty piece. I love the colors. The greens and the blue together looks very, very pretty. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, yeah, um, last Friday when they had the Goodwill Blue Box uh, sale at 6 o'clock. I forgot all about it because I was, I think I was shooting something or, you know, doing something and um, I didn't get one. But this one, this one from Tennessee, I mean, it took over a week to arrive for some reason. And, and the label even said relabeled. So, I mean, it kind of like went went to different places um, before before arriving to me so okay this is all knotted up Ugh. it's it's just a costume piece um, plastic green faceted uh, stone and a hammered silver tone uh, disc so this is something I will also put into the craft lot um, I guess when I say costume, I think of a uh, jewelry that's inexpensive or not, you know, that doesn't use um, precious uh, metals or at least semi-precious stones. Um, when I say fashion jewelry, that's what I would think of, something more, you know, in that sense. Uh... Okay, this one here is a pendant that has, I wonder if that's real. I mean, it's pretty. It's it's missing rhinestones on either side of the, the bar. And then it's got this uh, really pretty raw stone inside. It's on this uh, silver tone chain with a lobster clasp and an extender. So yeah, pretty, but it's going into the craft lot too. Okay, what's this? Um, pretty little pendant necklace with a, with a pink glitter flower and a rhinestone center with a B coating on those little rhinestones. It's on this um, silver tone snake chain. There's a spring ring clasp and a hang tag. And it says, what does it say? It says Claire's. Okay, this is a, a Claire's pendant necklace. Very pretty, very pretty blossom, but it's got a little dirt right there. But I'm sure it can be cleaned. It's very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, what do we have? What do we got? This is a long, uh, a long, a long silver tone chain. It has all these long bar panels and these um, miniature ones. 
it looks to be in good shape. It's just twisted. Uh, okay. This is nice. This is very nice. Uh, it ends in a lobster clasp and a very long extender. Wow. And that extender has a very nice little bead at the end. Now I saw this hang tag. Let's see what it says. Let's see. Korea G and ampersand S. Korea. Okay. Um, big long kind of like almost like an ID bracelet but in a necklace um, in a necklace format. Right? Right. Okay. Coming up. Coming up. What do you think so far of this? I don't know. I guess um, you never know what you get. And that's the whole point of getting a, a Goodwill blue box. Because you just don't know what to expect. You know, hit or miss. Okay, this is a silver tone um, flat. It's pretty. Uh, necklace. I don't know, I forgot what you call this. But it's it's flat, you know, the kind of chain that you you don't put a pendant on. And uh, it has this lobster clasp at the end. And it is not marked. I see some tarnishing uh, inside. And there actually is a tag. And I don't know what that is. It, it looks like a big C, but then there's all this stuff written in the center. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess it's something I can test. I can test that. I can test. I can test. All right. Oh, this is pretty. This is a nice um, pendant tassel necklace. Not many tassels. Very lightweight. It has this medallion with the daisy in the center. Uh, and then... And then you have these uh, really nice embellished silver tone stations with these spacers in different shapes. And then you have miniatures of this medallion here. Moving up the chain, you got these uh, oval links. And then you have these kind of links. Everything's double-sided, by the way. And then you have these oval, solid, silver, uh, silver tone links. Very nice. And then, and then it, uh, goes back to these mini medallions. And back to this design. You keep on going up, 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 up the chain. This is pretty. Oh, wait. Okay. And long. Go up the chain, and there you go. There's the end. What do we have? Well, we have that lobster class with an extender and, an, and a hand tag. Um, hmm. I don't know that uh, logo, but let's look. I saw something on the other side. Ruby Road. Um, RD. RD. Ruby Road. I've never heard of Ruby Road, um, but I, I have to say this is a very nice um, necklace. It is in good condition. I, I like the, um, the different stations here. And I do like 
the simple um, tassel on the bottom, all in a silver tone setting. Okay. So far, okay, this is just a plain uh, chain. It actually has an A. Someone told me what that A was uh, stood for, and uh, for the life of me, I, I always forget. But I guess I can keep the chain. I don't know. If I have something to put on it. Um, okay, this is... This is a very uh, tarnish yellow gold tone chain. Oh my god, look at that. I got vertigree on my fingers. Um, yeah. This is, uh, this is pretty worn. I'm going to put that into the craft lot. We have this pretty enamel heart. That is super super uh tarnished in the back and it's on this really faded chain so it's going into the craft lot okay Ooh, this is pretty it's a curved chain and and part of it is textured maybe all of it is it makes it look like it's um this is this is pretty uh okay so it it's it's that throughout the whole chain here's the the end it's the lobster class with the really this is a very long extender and it also has a little um rhinestone at the bottom of the charm of the extender. So I don't know what, oh, there is something on the other side. RMN. You know, this is maybe, I don't know, the third or fourth time I've seen this and I still don't know what, what it stands for. Does anybody know what RMN is? I mean, um, if you do, can you please comment below and, and let me know? But this is a very pretty, very pretty chain, and it's in it's in really nice condition. And it has this texture on both sides. It's R M N. Okay. Next up. A really worn uh, Wow, you see all that damage? See all that that wear? Um, it has a fold over clasp and it says I love you with hearts all around the necklace. Okay, this is this is going into the, the craft lot. It's really um it's really faded and worn. Next up, what we have here. What do we have? This is cute. It's like an aquamarine, um faux aquamarine chips, silver tone necklace, has a lobster clasp, no maker. And a little extender with a silver ball bead at the end. And then you have this pendant. Wow. I, when I get my Presidium gem tester back, I will test this. Um, I'm hoping it's Laramore because it's, uh, that's a really pretty stone. This is nice, so I guess I have to put this aside and figure it out. But it's a very um, delicate chain with the with these little chips throughout, all the way up the neckline to the end. 
and then this pendant hanging off of it. It's so nice. Okay, this is definitely going into the craft lot. It is super lightweight. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, a golden nugget? It's on this very uh, twisty, elaborate chain. There is no mark. It's on this um, spring ring clasp closure. I don't know. It's just very lightweight. I mean, but you know what? Now that I look at it, it's in good condition, though. Is it? Uh, there's some wear on that jump ring. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like super lightweight. Anyway, anyway. Uh, oh, this one we saw already. This one here is also going into the craft lot because it's super, um, super lightweight, uh, super tarnished, but... You know, it's got these pretty rhinestones in the center. You know, I like that green and amber color. Um, it's it's on this brass tone chain. I mean, it, it's not bad if it's supposed to look that way. You know, with this all this distressed look on it. I mean, let's look at the back. Um, yeah, if it's supposed to look this way, then it's, then it's in good condition, but I don't know. Uh, this, uh, is a brass tone chain, and then it just goes, just ends with the lobster clasp and, uh, and, and the extender. So, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's cute. nothing's missing so that's so okay all right this uh, this this was driving me nuts and it's going into the craft lot because it's you see how many chains it has it's all this multi-chain business going on and and um it was tangled in everything i mean everything I mean, it's super nice. You have these, um, you have these links in between the multi chains. See, the multi chains are strung through those links. So there's like one section, and here's another section, and here's a the end section that has the um, big loop. But in the center, that's what what's causing the problem. There's a section that's really long, and, and if you can see, this chain is all the way here, but, you know, I needed to try to pull that through these two loops in order to get that um, extended correctly. I mean, I guess I can, but it's just... Here's the lobster clasp. It was just a, a crazy thing to um, try to to fix. <sighs> this design reminds me of, you know, when you take construction paper and then you, you cut strips into them and then you loop them together. I mean, it is, this is in good condition. Um, like I said, I just need to fix this part see how long that chain is but if you you have to pull it through these two sides and make it even so it, it took me a while to do these but yeah I mean it's 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 not I thought it was broken it's not it's not okay so what else what else do we have oh what is this what is this? I I don't know. It looks like a
a B. Anyway, it's tarnished. It's um, it's going into the craft lot. That's where it's going. All right. Oh, I have one more necklace. What's the? Sorry. Sorry. Well, this is pretty. It's got some druzy uh, panels. That looks to be like a black, kind of like a navy blue. Um, and it has this hammered bar. Oh, even a panel with, with little rhinestones inside. Another, what, what are we looking at here? Okay. That's the end. As you go up, you have the Druzy panels, the hammered gold tone bars, and this is the end with the lobster clasp and extender. This is a Banana Republic uh, necklace with the, the Druzy um, bars and the hammered the hammered gold bars and and this one and this bar with the uh, rhinestones. Wow, this is like probably the best item in the whole box so far. I think so. What do we have? We have the earrings and um, not no rings, just earrings. And then we're done. So. Yeah, let's get okay, to that. So now we're up to the earrings and uh, lots of single earrings as we're not surprised. Only two pairs of earrings were found. And here they are. Here's the first pair. Uh, they look pretty nice. They are, they feel, they feel, um, no, it's not nice. This one's already peeling. Do you see that? The minute I touched it, it started peeling. So, yeah. This pair is going into the craft lot. In fact, this this uh, whole entire display is going into the craft lot. This here is a long, long dangling earring. Which is... Has seen better days. I would say it's about 8 inches long. It's multi-strand. And this was the second pair that was in in the in this box. I mean, it's all intact. It's pretty nice if you like to wear long, long tassel earrings. Then, then these are right for you. It needs to be cleaned, of course. But uh. There were these earrings that I felt that I felt um, will definitely uh, be repurposed because they have these pretty charms hanging off of them. Uh, there was this fabric one. This one I actually thought was a bracelet, but it's it's an earring. Uh, you see all that vertigree? So these beads will definitely uh, be able to be um, reharvest. So if you look how how big that that earring is, it's huge. There's another big one here, uh, huge. I mean, they they can be. I thought they were bracelets, and then I took a second look and I said, oh no, they're earrings. This has like yellow enamel, and then um, oh, I think this is a ring. I'm not sure. I don't know. Is it? I don't know what this is. I'm... I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? Well, I found this also. And then, um... Here's, like, lightweight silver tone hoops. This is a really pretty one that I wish there was a match to because this is so nice with the enamel and, you know, like that little lamp type of um, shape um, yeah so this doesn't have a mate 
these are just plain wooden um, earrings. So this was a third pair that I found. And I guess this is was someone's craft project because, you know, they can add things to it. So this is going, like I said, everything's going to the craft lot. Uh, here's a nice dangly earring. Um, very pretty. And then we have this one. And we got this one. Uh, there's a feather. Yeah. Oh, here's, an, here's another feather. This is a... Look at this chain and then you have the hook. That's crazy. I mean, it's a pretty feather. So, yeah, this this um this Goodwill blue box, five pound repurposed jewelry box, came from Nashville, Tennessee. I I believe, and uh, everything I've shown you, uh, the majority of everything, will be going into a craft. Will be going to various craft lots, I guess, and. Um, yeah so thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please uh please give me a like if you did that would really help and um even better uh please subscribe and hit that bell so you get alerted for all my um future videos with my new content anyway thank you again for watching and i hope to see you soon bye